Hey guys, this is Darren here from Rogue Aquariums. Now, I know it's been a few months since I've done a video and I wanted to apologize for that. It's uh, It's been busy uh, the last, the last actually the uh, last year for me, especially the last few months, uh, doing some projects in and around the house and uh, getting this tank ready. This is my main display right here. And what you're looking at is my 600 gallon. This is, uh, this is an uh, acrylic tank, which is made out of polycast acrylic, which is one of the best acrylics out there. It's eight foot long by four feet front to back, and it's 30 inches tall. So I can kind of slope up here on the rock work. Take a look at it, see the depth of the tank. So anyway, the tank was built uh, by uh, Clear Fabrications. They're based in Seattle. The owner is Jason Gregory. He's been building custom tanks, stands, and sumps for the last 26, 27 years, and uh, he does great work. So anyway, he contacted me and the uh, previous owner, had the system, didn't set it up for reasons why I don't know, and uh, so I came over and made an offer to him, and uh, this is just a, this is a dream tank here. Got accepted, and uh, five of us took it out and uh, started working on it. And like I said, I've been uh, piecing this system together for quite a while now. Well, something of this size you just don't put together overnight so anyway i'll talk about uh, what i've got in it and around it a little bit later but what i want to talk about here is the product that i'm using with it now full disclosure guys uh this this build right here is being sponsored by brightwell aquatics i reached out to them and i uh, told them what i had the size of the system and what i wanted to do with it and where i wanted to go and by the way this stuff here this razor this is a great cleaner for, uh, also works great on uh, uh, green hair algae. So I've had an issue with that in my, one of my fried tanks and it, it's working really good to break it down and eradicate it. So these are some of the products that I'm using. Uh, Brightwell has a great crew, crew of guys and uh, they're gracious enough to sponsor this system. So they asked me, I said, hey, uh, Darren, do you wanna go ahead and uh, try this product we're, we're, uh, we're using, we're actually we're trying out right now and would you wanna beta test it? And I said, sure. So this is the Microbacter Start XLM. Now, it's been out for a few weeks now and it comes in the uh, 500 milliliter containers. And, uh, but this is a four liter container right here and it's still got the black and white label on it. That's because I was the first person to uh, beta test this product. Though the reason why I really like the, uh, the Start XLM is how diverse it is. And diverse meaning that this can withstand elevated temperatures. I know that for a fact because not only did I test it, but my my garage is completely insulated and it can get up to temperatures of 76, 77 degrees. And the good thing about this, it can take the, the uh, different uh, swings in the temperature. You can also refrigerate this. And I like it because it's very highly concentrated and it's, uh, it's live microbial enzymes and it breaks down the reduction of ammonia and nitrites. So you're looking at the results of it I moved some of my fish from my frag tank, which was way overdue, and they're doing just super great right here, right now. Um, I'll be putting a lot more fish in here in, in certain groups or later on. Um, I'll be talking about that a little bit later and what I plan on putting in here. Just kind of swinging around here. This is the uh, side of the uh, tank. And you know guys, the uh, product is available at your local fish store. So you can uh, contact your local fish store and pick it up and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with it on how it works versus other bacteria that are on the market. I highly recommend uh, the Start XLM, not only because I beta tested it because I saw from my own experience how it works and how the fish are doing really well in here. I'll talk more about the rock work and what I use as far as sand a little bit later, and I'll be doing several videos later on on it. But uh, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell, and uh, I'll update you on uh, a lot more that I've got to uh, preview. Anyway, have a good night.